Hi, this video is going to be doing a he made one style of do to do with your twin tail wigs. Now I've got my wig on my wig head and pulled back. I think this one really works really, really well with short wigs. Um, with long wigs, you're going to just leave it in the back and lightly groomed and lightly curled. Um, but it works really nice with short wigs because it does cover the whole back and gives it a long hair appearance. For this, I'm using both of my ponytails on clock clips. For this, what you want to do, and this is the main part of getting the whole style to work, excuse me, um, is to put the claw clips at a diagonal angle on both sides. So they're coming to a slight point in the front. So you'll put one on each side. And you'll have the hair falling over both sides. Good. And this will make your uh, wig a little top heavy, so make sure it's nicely secured. And now the styling part of this is really just a little finagling the hair to make it look like a proper bump. Now it looks like two ponytails. The point of this is we're going to use small bits from each side of the hair and you just want to brush this out so it's very smooth because you want it to create a smooth bump look. Sort of like you use a bump bit or one of those things. <laughs> one of those infomercial hair bump things. But this, since you have the clock clip, gives it basically its own bump bit. And we're just going to pull this slightly to the back and you're just going to want to put in your pins across the back. Just simply pinning it and you do this for a small section on both ponytails. So it's got a more natural look of a bump. Then we're going to take a small sections of this and just pull that around to the back. And we'll do this on both sides. play with this to make it look fairly natural. Then from one side, I'm going to just take a small section. Excuse me, my comb fell all the way across. <laughs> and you want to make sure this is really smooth because this is going to come in the front. You need that to be really nicely smooth. And I'm just going to pull this in front and give it a slight twist so it curls down the opposite side. So we've got the basics here. We've got the bump and the slight curl. This little pull in front here hides the fact that there's a claw clip there. And then we're just going to take some of the smaller bits and just pull them back. You can do this very simply. This is just to make it look uh, less off to the sides and more back focused. I'm going to swirl this around so you can see the back here. You see, I've got the, the full ponytail pulled back all the way. And just separate a couple of pieces. And how much you want to pull to the back will depend on what kind of hair accessories you want to put in here. Um, if you have a hair accessory that's going to slide down the side of the front, you'll want to pull more back so there's more room for the hair accessory to sit. And if you've got a sort of sleeker hair accessory, you'll probably want to leave more to the front just to give a fuller appearance. So now that that's done, um, you want to just take that. And it really is just giving it a little bit of twisting here and there to make sure it looks pretty natural. Well, as natural as a big wiggle lip of the look, but 
You want it to look like it's all been styled from one wig. When, of course, the best thing for a Hime bump style is a uh, tiara or a small crown, which fits perfectly in this spot here. But I'm going to use a fun pearl headband here, which I think gives a nice feel. I'm also going to use a little fluffy bow on the side. So that gives it a lovely, fun, princessy feel. And this can work really great with uh, sweet or hime styles. It probably would also really work for uh, hime gyaru if you happen to enjoy that style as well. Um, you can of course put any type of accessory in here. I think this looks really good with sort of that sort of statement flower. Perfect for spring. Um, and it's very fun. And if you also forgot this, if you have a long wig, I just pulled mine back into a ponytail for styling. Take that out and just brush it out so it looks soft along the back and it will just add to the waterfallness of the back. So make sure it's well brushed out. You know, just soft. You can pull parts of it up if you want to to shorten it um, just by lifting and twisting. And that would give you a shortened appearance of the, the base wig. So you can pull that all up if you didn't want it to look so long. So here is the finished style and it's a nice quick style that gives a big impact. So I hope you'll try it and I hope you'll watch my next video. Bye!